I think those are the two operative emotions right there, anxiety and stress. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think there's any way around experiencing some anxiety and some stress if you are returning to a work environment where you're going to be around other people. Mm -hmm. You know, we've, we've all spent about two months at least training ourselves to avoid contact with other people, right. you know, using the emotion of fear to help keep us safe. And it's going to be very hard for people to turn that off. Mm. Um, and so any business leader um, would be wise to think about having some sort of either programming or access to programming to help folks manage this stress and anxiety. Um, I would encourage everyone to either highlight their EAPs that they may have available or um, to consider having some psychoeducation made available to their, to their folks to be really gracious with people as they re-enter because I think it will be clumsy we've all been practicing, you know, staying vigilant and yeah. to unwind that stuff will be difficult. That's a really good point that I hadn't considered about. We've all really worked on that emotion of fear. We've sharpened our skills when it comes to being afraid of being close to others and worrying about masks being worn and all that kind of thing. And so your point about unraveling is a really good one that you don't just you don't, you know, you don't just undo that over two plus months of sharpening that skill. Yeah. And our, our uh, veterans and first responders are really familiar with this. This is one of the things that makes reentry after something like combat or any kind of trauma difficult because you have trained yourself to be vigilant in order to be safe. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, even people that have spent a lot of time, um, working on emotional fluency or um, affect regulation or anxiety management are, are still going to have some hurdles to, to work through. And community support and mental health support is more critical now than ever.